Joining us now on MSUEagles.com is the head women's golf coach here at Moorhead State, Stephanie Barker. Don't want to confuse our viewers, we are inside Johnson Arena today as she's getting ready to tape uh, another edition of the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. But Coach, it's been a little while since we caught up with you on MSUEagles.com and just wanted to talk about the, uh, the end of the regular season. I don't know where time has gone. It seems like the spring season has flown by. But uh, your team has really hit its stride here and performed well the last two or three tournaments. Yeah, we're excited. Um, anytime you can come in top three, that's that's really encouraging. And I think most everyone has had a few good rounds, you know, under 75 for the most part. Marissa has been playing very strong. Vanessa has really stepped it up, our freshmen. So that's it, it's it's nice. We can build on that and be ready for OBCs. Your team. Um was second out of nine in a field down in Ocala, Florida. And what most people don't know is that Moorhead State actually hosted that tournament. Just talk about both um, the way your, your ladies performed in the tournament and just talk a little bit about the administrative side and pulling together a tournament uh, several states from home. Yeah, it's really fun. Fortunately, Sarah Larson came with us, so our SWA was really helpful as far as administrative things that needed to be done. And then, of course, you were here helping us with uh, with golf stat, and that's really helpful. But as far as having a tournament down in Florida that time of year, it's incredibly beneficial for the team. We, we can count on the weather being very predictable. The course is always in good shape. It has great practice facilities. So that's that was the original intent. And then it's turned into a very nice tournament as far as teams from our own league. It was it's exciting. We got to play with Murray State and Jacksonville State quite a bit and to come away with um, playing better than they did that week. That was exciting as well. Um, Stetson played incredibly well because we shot not, uh, we shot 290 something each day, which is which is very strong, and uh, and Stetson just just played a little bit better than we did. But even then, it was fun because we were in the lead group, and you could it, it changes so fast as far as four or five people. If you get four or five birdies between four people, and all of a sudden someone else gets a couple bogeys on their team, the next thing you know, you're in the lead. So that's fun when you're in the lead group because as a coach, you're kind of know where you stand for the most part so it's, it's a good experience for our kids in the last couple tournaments to be in that position and to know if they play well they've got a shot at winning. Stephanie Barker the head women's golf coach at Moorhead State joins us today on MSUEagles.com and your team had a, a long spring break week in Florida in the Sunshine State. Uh, Cincinnati also hosted a tournament down there and, and your team performed well there uh, third out of 19. Just talk about that event if you would. Yeah, that was a different venue for us. We actually played in a fivesome the first two days playing with our own team. It was a great learning experience for me. I actually got to see everyone play every shot each of the first two rounds and uh, helped me really with, with putting together the next few practices afterwards. Knew what we needed to work on, knew where people were deficient in their games as far as even what shots we needed to learn how to perform better because there's there's obviously a difference between my observations and and what the players um, tell right. me are their observations or their feedback so I, I felt really blessed to be able to interact with my team all day each day and, and kind of learn from that so so they played well um, the weather was a little bit more interesting there a little bit more wind so scores were a tiny bit higher but but really for the most part we, we played quite solid the regular season finale was uh, here in early April, uh, about 90 minutes down the road at Eastern Kentucky. Your team uh, second out of 13 in that affair. Let's talk about uh, that final regular season tournament and uh, Marissa Camelgarn, who's really played well here in the spring, uh, tied for second out of, I, I believe, 75 golfers in that event. Yes, uh, going into the event, we kept chanting three P, three P, so, <laughs> so we really wanted to win again. Um, we won that event the last two years with, with a real solid field each year. Um, this year, just, just couldn't quite pull it off. I mean, we were right there, but but really had to take it low the last couple of days in order to win. So we're, you know, top three again is really strong, but, um, but you know, hopefully, I don't know, hopefully in two weeks we'll pull off a win down there, and that'll be that much more important at OVCs. We've talked about Marissa here uh, throughout the interview. Uh, her stroke average is below 
75. She has six top 10 finishes this year, a four-time OVC Golfer of the Week, and possibly a, a fifth award coming her way soon. But just talk about her as a junior and her play as she's improved over the course of the year. Marissa is a very strong player. She's very accomplished, has quite a bit of experience as an amateur, came from actually a men's high school team, which I think when you do that, college golf is not that huge of a transition. So she she really brought a lot to the table as a player. I think the neat thing for us is, is to see how she's matured as a person and a player and with her mental game. And for the most part, her core strategy has really improved. I think she thinks about some of her shots a little bit more than she did when she first came here. Um, you can kind of get away with not thinking when you're a junior golfer, but in, in college golf there's a little bit more at stake, and and, uh, and I think she's learned that she can play to her strengths and, and really do well. So I think that's what we're seeing. She just tends to handle the courses better. Her wedges have really improved. Her short game is a ton better, and as far as her her strength, her ball striking, she's probably hitting it the best that I've seen her hit it in a very long time. Anybody who has studied your results uh, throughout the school year has seen kind of the two through five spots, the people who are going to the tournaments and, and part of your, your scoring group, uh, if you will. Uh, we've seen different people step up at different times. I, I guess that points to kind of the depth on, on this year's roster. Just talk about some of the other players who have been big contributors for you. We've seen uh, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors alike step up and, and be second and third for Moorhead State in some of these tournaments. Yes, uh, it, it really, we, we look well for the next couple of years as far as having young players and players that are getting a lot of experience. I'm really excited for Vanessa Bognat. She's improved tremendously as a player, just probably has learned to practice much more efficiently than than ever before. Um, hits it an incredibly long way, so she, she definitely can overpower quite a few of the courses that we play. Uh, so that that's neat, and she just, she just loves golf. You can tell she enjoys the tournament experience and great person to travel with. We have a lot of fun with her, so that's neat. Um, sophomores, Amali has really improved. She, she keeps getting better each semester, so I'm excited for her. She's really worked extremely hard both in the classroom and on the golf course, and, and I think it's neat for her to see those efforts pay off and pay off immediately. Um, Sophia, she's just a very steady player. She's, you know, had her rounds here and there that, that we've thrown out, but she's also had quite a few low rounds as well, which has really helped us. And then you've got Emma Janssen, who, who I think coming into this year really wanted to even do better than she did last year, which, which is extremely difficult to do but she's so accomplished and she's so steady that I think she's got a lot of confidence going into OVCs that she can really build on that and play well to finish out her career. That bar, that bar was set pretty high wasn't it for Emma? Yeah it, it's hard to win five or more tournaments each year. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Barker is with us the head women's golf coach in Moorhead State and a final comment from you coach uh, heading into the OVC championship which will be in Dixon Tennessee um, your team, the defending OVC champions, no pressure there, but um, just talk about that experience last year and maybe how you can use it to your advantage this year of finally getting over the top. The women's golf program here at MSU is, is relatively new, um, and uh, or I guess it was reinstated after many years of being dormant, but um, getting over the hump last year, participating in an NCAA regional, just talk about that experience and how it can help you here in 2012. I think the neat thing is is that for the last few years we know that we're talented enough to win and it just comes down to playing your game and, and playing to your strengths and then getting the ball in the hole. And I know jokingly last year everyone was asking like, oh, what do you need to do to win the OVCs? And I kept saying, well, if we're the low team each day, we're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's really what it comes down to. Um, in our sport, you know, you just you play hard, you play with your heart, you you get the ball in the hole and then you add it up and you know you're, you're just hoping that your score is lower than everyone else's but it's, it's not like we can block shots we can't tackle anyone we can't you know we, we can't even um, heckle them you know, right. when they're playing so so you're really in control of yourself and I think what we showed last year is that we did our thing we just um, 
got the ball in the hole. We Our short games were very strong. We were striking the ball really pretty solid, and it really didn't matter what anyone else did. I mean, if other people were getting pars and bogeys, you know, we did our thing, and then right near the end, we started to get some birdies and, and just kind of shut everyone down. So, so I think that was a great experience because it was almost like we had blinders on. No one else was relevant while we played. And I think if we can do that again this year and we can just do our thing, don't let anyone or anything distract us, play the golf course, play to your strengths, get the ball on the hole, doesn't matter if you do it perfectly or not, uh, we're going to have another great opportunity to walk away with the championship. All right, Coach. Well, good luck on defending that OVC championship, and we'll uh, catch up with you here uh, after the tournament. Thank you.